hello guys welcome to my channel this is Doron's TV Dr. Fiori is speaking today I'm going to share with you some tips on how to have a personal relationship with God What motivated this topic is that I see many videos online of how Christians are being led astray by so-called prophets and pastors and the thing is that the same understanding that the prophet or the pastor have is also accessible to you and I only if we desire to do more work if only we desire to learn the Word of God it's just like the way we go to school, we learn and we don't understand. We keep on repeating the same thing and get, until we get an understanding. We just have to apply the same principle with the word, word of God and also just ask the Holy Spirit to help us understand what we read. Listening to the pastor and the prophet or reading our devotional guide is not enough for us we need to have our personal studies we need to have that personal connection with god and put god to a test the same miracle that you are chasing after signs and wonders can also happen to you and i if only we have that personal relationship with god you know even if we listen to these pastors we are supposed to go back to our bibles and check what they told us whether it is true or not because it's stated in Acts 17 verse 11 let me read it says that now the Bieran Jews were of more noble character than those in the Thessalonica for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true we were supposed to be checking the scriptures to know if everything that we hear is true and the reason we need to do that is because we are in the era of second timothy 4 verse 3 let me read that one too and that states that for the time will come when people will not put up with sound doc doctrine instead to suit their own desires they will gather around them a great number of teachers to see what their itching ears want to hear for these reasons we need to read our bible because that same pastor or prophet knows that as a lady is approaching a particular age they need marriage they know people have fibroid like they they know like certain things just psychological to play on your mind and you think it's god or sometimes you fall for all these things but if you have a personal relationship with god you'll be able to deal with all this and this video the tips that I'm coming to share, some of you are already doing that. It's just for people who don't know how to have a personal relationship with God. So that brings me to point number one. You need to believe that there is Jesus. You need to believe that there is God, right? And have faith. If you are able to get to this step, then you can continue with that one. But if you don't believe, there's no need continuing the other steps, right? And then... You need to also ask God, ask the Holy Spirit to help you have that personal connection with Him. Because you can't do this by yourself. There's a song that says, By myself, it won't work. Lord, I need, I need your help. So you need the help of God. And then point number two, you need to be hungry and willing to search God wholeheartedly. And it states that seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. So we have to be willing to do that. Point number three, it also states um, that we should let go and let God. That means we should put everything, we should surrender everything to God. In Matthew 10, 39, it says that he who finds his life will lose it but he who loses his life because of me will find it so we have to surrender everything like we just have to let go carry all your burdens and put it on god point number four you have to find some powerful quotations meditate on it and pray with 
we all have some seasons in our life like there are sometimes you are lonely sometimes you are depressed sometimes you are just happy sometimes you just don't know what is happening right so these are the times that you look for quotations that matches your 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 feeling like that's how you get to connect with god that's how you you kind of find meaning to whatever that is happening to you and you know you hear so many testimonies of how people found god in their difficult moments so that is just one of them how to find quotations in the bible towards your your situation you can also find some good christian songs that you can use powerful ones the ones that edifies god the one that worships god like words that like exalt god look for those songs and you also have to pray that's point number five you have to pray whether in the mood to pray or not just make it a point to be praying until it become part and parcel of you and then when we do this this will help us have some personal relationship with god and then from there you will grow you will continue growing and doing other things it's an amazing journey this is also going to help us find our salvation because the bible made us know that we should find salvation with fear and trembling so it's an individual decision nobody is going to do that for you you have to do it by yourself so guys those are the tips and i hope it's helpful let me know your comment like share and most importantly you have to subscribe yeah thank you for watching bye bye